Hello my friends, would you like to learn how you can create this awesome animated title slide on PowerPoint? Well, let me show you how. Let's go! Alright my friends, let's jump into the magical world of PowerPoint and let's go to this empty black slide where we will create our beautiful animated title slide. And first of all, let's just insert a full screen rectangle that covers the whole slide. Just like that. And now let me quickly grab this beautiful gradient fill from my previous slide. Let's make sure that this rectangle is selected. Let's go to home. Let's click on format painter. And now let's just click once on this blue rectangle. And it gets the same beautiful gradient fill. And let's just jump into the format shape options. We can definitely see it's a gradient fill. It's a radial fill. And the direction is from top left corner. That's beautiful. And here are the four color stops and the exact hex codes. If you'd like to use them as well. Okay my friends, and next let's insert a huge big beautiful slide title. So let's just go to insert tab, let's find a text box tool and let's just insert a text box, okay? And I'm just typing in Singapore, okay? The font I'm using is called Hanson and the font size is 96. And let's make sure that this text box is center aligned, that's awesome. And now let's just draw some text on top of the Singapore text box and for that let's use the PowerPoint draw tool. Choose any color that you wish and pick your pen thickness and now let's just draw something, for example, welcome to. And by the way, it's pretty hard to draw smooth looking text and for that I would recommend using a graphics tablet such as this one, Vacuum Intuos. This is what I'm using and if you're interested, link is in the video description. Okay, and now let me just grab this welcome text and let's bring it a little bit closer to the Singapore text box, okay? And now let's add some animations to these guys, so let's start with this welcome to text box. And since we have used the draw tool, we can use a replay animation, okay? And now let's jump into the animation pane and let's check out this replay animation. Looking beautiful. And I think we can make it faster, so instead of 2 seconds for the duration, let's use 1.3 seconds. And now the animation replays a little bit faster. That's awesome. And now for the Singapore text box, let's add a flying animation direction from right. That's beautiful. Let's make sure that this animation starts with previous. Duration, uh, let's make it one second and now let's jump into the animation options. Let's add a maximum smooth end for that extra soft landing and let's make sure the text is animated by letter with 10% delay between the letter animations. And this is what we get. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay my friends, you're doing a wonderful progress. Both of the text boxes have been animated and now we can just duplicate our slide. And now on the duplicate slide, let's select all of the animations and let's delete them. We don't need any animations for now, we'll add some animations later on. And now let's just make sure that the rectangle is selected, hold down the shift key, select the Singapore text box, and now let's go to merge shapes and choose subtract. And this way we have basically punched a hole inside of this gradient rectangle and now we can see the black as light background, okay? And next my friends, we have to find a beautiful video that we could use. And luckily for us, today's video is sponsored by Deposit Photos, where I have found this awesome video of Singapore super trees lighting up in the night. On Deposit Photos, you can find royalty-free stock photos, vector images, videos and music for your creative projects. Whether you need professional stock photos, vector art, illustrations, 4K videos, music or sound effects, Deposit Photos has got you covered. And make sure to use promo code OneSkill20 that will give you a 20% discount on all on-demand downloads and subscriptions. And by the way, Deposit Photos has many tools to help you out in your creative process such as background remover for your images or your videos, image upscaler and others. So make sure you check out those tools as well. And now let's just download this awesome video from depositphotos.com and let's get back to PowerPoint. Alright, and now let me just copy this beautiful video from my previous slide and let's paste it into our second slide where we have the rectangle cut out. Let's make sure that the video is center aligned and let's add a play animation to this video. And let's make sure that this play animation starts with previous, which means that this video will start playing automatically once this slide loads. Additionally, we can set this video to loop in the playback options and now let's just send this video to back so that it is behind the rest of the layers on this slide, okay? As you can see, the cutout rectangle is on top and below it we have our beautiful video. That's awesome. Okay, my friends, and next let's actually jump back to our previous slide. Let's copy the Singapore text box and let's paste it into the second slide as well. So we basically fill in those empty Singapore letters again. And let's just make sure that we remove the flying animation from the Singapore text box. And now let me quickly jump into the selection pane and let me rename all of the layers 
so that it is easier to see what is going on. So first of all we have our welcome text, then the Singapore text, after that we have the gradient rectangle cutout and finally we have our video at the bottom. That's super awesome and now my friends let's add some exit animations. So let's just select the welcome and Singapore text boxes, let's go to animations, let's go to add animation and let's choose for example an exit flout animation. And now let's make sure that both of these animations start with the previous, that's beautiful. For the animation direction I'm using two top, ok. And now in the duration field let's use one second to make these animations a little bit longer. And now in the animation options I'm using a maximum smooth start for both of these animations and this is what we get so far. Looking beautiful. And I think we can jump into the Singapore text box animation options and let's go to the animation text field and let's choose by letter, then percent delay. Let's hit OK and this way we'll have a nice exit animation for the Singapore text box where pretty much each of the letters fly out separately. That's awesome. Ok my friends and now the final touch is to animate our beautiful grid and cut out rectangle so let's make sure it is selected and for this guy let's use a grow shrink animation. Let's make sure that this animation starts with previous with the rest of the animations. Duration is 2 seconds, let's use a maximum smooth start. And now for the size, for the growth size, let's use unusual number 9000%. So we basically want for this cutout rectangle to become so huge so that we can start seeing the video through the cutout letters. Alright, so let's give it a preview in the animation pane and as you can see the cutout rectangle becomes so huge so that it basically zooms in and flies away. That's awesome. And by the way, I forgot to mention that for the second slide we don't need any slide transitions, so let's just set it to none. And this way once you will be jumping from one slide to the next one there will be no visible difference. So this is slide number one and then we instantly jump to slide number two. That's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Congratulations my friends, now you know how you can create this awesome animated title slide in PowerPoint. And if you'd like to learn more PowerPoint animation tips and techniques, make sure that you check out my PowerPoint animation playlist. Thank you for watching, stay happy, stay healthy and I'll see you on my next video. Peace. Yeah.